Neon colors are especially bright. They're best described as extremely luminescent versions of primary and secondary colors, such as blue, red, green, yellow, and purple. Fluorescent colors stand apart from other types of color due to the fact that they emit light, making them luminescent. When the emitted light falls in the visible spectrum of light that can be seen by the human eye, the luminescence is rendered in color. Neon colors can only be chemically created. As a result, they are not included in the traditional color spectrum and were not discovered until the last century. Even now, because neon colors have to emit light to appear fluorescent, they are difficult to achieve using standard print design methods. The gas element neon actually only produces a red-orange color, but the word neon can broadly apply to a wide range of fluorescent and ultra-bright colors. The first luminescent paint was created by Bob Switzer along with his brother Joseph. During the summer of 1933, while working to unload tomatoes from a freight car at the H.J. Heinz Company, Bob fell and suffered several serious injuries, including a severed optic nerve. Doctors told him to stay in a dark room until he recovered his eyesight, a period which lasted several months. The pair of brothers began using black lights to find and experiment with fluorescent compounds from their father's pharmaceutical job. Joseph had read about the compounds and wished to use them in his amateur magic shows. After Bob's recovery, they continued with their experiments, eventually mixing the fluorescent compounds with wood varnish, creating the first black light fluorescent or neon paints. In 1934, they founded the Flores Art Company to develop and market their products for advertising displays. During the 1940s, the company developed daylight fluorescent pigments, which are highly visible in daylight by converting ultraviolet light to visible light, resulting in brighter colors than other types of pigments. These daylight fluorescent pigments became known as Dayglow. Bob produced the first piece of highly visible clothing by dyeing his wife's wedding dress. The company would go on to change its name to the Dayglow Color Corporation in 1969. After World War II, advertisers used the daylight fluorescent paints to make their product more visible to consumers. Tide detergent became known for its fluorescent packaging beginning in 1959, but other products such as clothing, posters, and hula hoops also use neon colors. Dayglow pigments were popularized in the 1960s by their extensive use in psychedelic art. Daylight fluorescent pigments were also used in safety products such as construction cones, street signs, and safety vests due to their high visibility. While more muted colors were favored during the 1970s, ultra-bright colors including hot pink and electric purple characterized the 1980s, making it the decade of neon. During the Asset House music movement of the 1990s, club goers often sported a neon yellow smiley face on clothing, waved glow sticks in the air, and sometimes even covered themselves with fluorescent paint. In the 2010s, the underground vaporwave movement would borrow heavily from some of the past decade's nostalgic neon aesthetics. Currently, a leaning towards maximalist design and a revival of the 1980s color palette has put neon colors firmly back on the style map.